good guys man i hope you guys are having a great day bro um today bro we're bringing some uh one of the videos i've been waiting for man you know it's been off season for the football team bro i'm a colorado buff fan and it's been off season bro you know what i'm saying we had a turbulent last season you know we had a lot of love and we also had a lot of fake love and we also had a lot of hate uh, and then we also had just a lot of people that weren't Christians that were kind of mad about how we was winning when we was winning. So, you know, good guys, um, the one of the biggest things that I wanted to bring this video for you, good guys, outside of me being a Colorado Buff fan is uh, coach Mr. Deion Sanders. Uh, he puts a lot of content out there, good guys, through his son's platform, as well as I believe his nephew's platform, the gentleman right here. Well, you'll see on the screen in a little bit. And uh, you guys can go check their pages out. Well Off Media, that's his son's page. And then Reach the People Media, that's uh, Darius, is his nephew's page. And so uh, the reason I wanted to bring you this content is because there's a lot of positives with what he pr pretty much provides to us. And when I say like a lot of positives, he gives like freaking sermons, bro. Like if you was in church, but like let's say you weren't a Christian, he'll give you like the words you need in a day to make your day better. And he just loved doing it. It's just like he just he, he just in love with the process of delivering the Lord's word in an articulate way that may not even be in a way that God would like would really 100 percent want him to give it to. Him, but like he giving it to everybody like it don't matter if you're Muslim, Asian, it don't matter if you're Buddhist, Dallas, it don't matter what it is. You just gonna get that work. You're gonna get that work for sure. And so for me, guys, I wanted to bring this video to you, bro, because today he brought in a guest. And this is a military uh, Marine. He's going to talk about a little about leadership. He's going to talk about trusting your teammates. He's going to talk, talk about like how to be the best version of a leader and how a team can operate and trust even in life and death situations. And, you know, I always talk about being Rambo, good guys. And, you know, what I'm saying like doing everything on my own. But I did play on teams, good guys. I have won championships, good guys. I did the team thing. So I know how to do it at the highest degree. But I also know how to you know, be solo dolo and just dominate by myself. I think you need to know both. But at the same time, a team is so much more valuable. I would rather have a team right now, good guys, than do everything I'm doing solo dolo. Though I love doing it solo dolo and it's just, I feel much better doing it solo dolo. It ain't nothing like having a championship squad with everybody got that same mentality. You know, everybody is hungry. Everybody want this so bad. Everybody willing to sacrifice it all. Everybody willing to do what is necessary to win and win all the time and it's very it's been very difficult for me to find that but for you good guys i want to bring this video let's get straight to it i ain't really got too much more to say to y'all boys bro hope y'all enjoy it hope y'all do it like the video subscribe you already know what time it is man y'all pumped up or what sure. let me explain to you what it's about becoming a team being a team is about trust the team doesn't work if you don't believe, like your shirt says, that the person next to you is gonna do their job. If you don't believe they're gonna do their job, you'll try to do some of their job. Or they'll try to do some of your job. Or I've, been, I've deployed to combat about six times and I've always seen the same thing. When Marines trust each other and we take a knee and I say, cover me and I'm gonna run, I start running because I just believe they're gonna shoot. That means I'm faster than the opponent because I don't gotta wait. I don't gotta have a conversation. Hey man, you sure? You ready? Are you gonna do it? I don't do all that. I just trust that they got my back and that we're ready to go. So it starts with trust. Trust is not earned, it's given. So if you're gonna be a leader on your team, you've gotta have the courage to trust. Because if trust could be earned, You'd have a t-shirt that says, make sure you do this to earn my trust. Anybody got a t-shirt like that? So I don't know how to earn your trust. So it's up to you to be the one that's brave enough to trust the person next to you. Because what there's a special thing that happens when that happens. If you show that you trust them, if you got a teammate of good character, they feel responsible to be there for you. Always faithful, some for devils. They feel responsible for being there for you. And if they're responsible for being there for you, then they're gonna give their 100% in the job they're supposed to do. So if you wanna be a leader on this team, 
You got to be brave enough to trust your teammate and to inspire them. Here's something else I've learned in tough times. In tough times, if you want to run to the noise, if you want to run to the guns, it's not about being brave. Like people think about being brave like you're watching a movie. Like this cat understands everything and he's just running. No. When it really happens, it happens when you're not thinking about yourself. That's when people are brave. Because you know what, if I think about myself and somebody's shooting, you know what I want to do? I want to hide. Because <laughs> I don't want to get shot. But the moment I say, what I'm really doing is not for me, it's for my teammate, then what it allows me to do is it allows me to stop thinking about myself and the adversity that I'm facing, and it allows me to focus on someone else and the fact that what I'm doing is for someone else and that they need me. And it allows me to stop thinking about my own pain, my own, I'm not, I'm not thinking about how tired I am. I'm not thinking about the last thing I messed up. All I'm thinking about is he needs me. That's all I'm thinking about. Is if I don't play hard, if I don't push through, if I don't bring the ammunition, if I don't cl climb over that last wall, he might not make it. And if I can think about that, if I can think about that and not think about me for a moment, it allows me to go a little bit further. That's what we do. That's what enables us to push and run to the guns. Because if you know anything about Marines, we're a weird group of people. I ain't gonna lie, we're a little weird. Where there's a thing about us where we like adversity. Almost everybody here, PTs on their own, regardless of age. We were talking, like he built an obstacle course in his backyard. Man's retired, like just climbing ropes. This is what we do, we like challenge. We like to grab hold of things. We like to wrestle, we like to do martial arts. We like, to, that's the type of people we are. But what it is is that we thrive in the adversity and we're looking for opportunities to go through because it tells us the measure of who we are. So fall in love with the process, strive through the adversity. The trick to doing it is not thinking about yourself. Trust each other. And guess what, if you're a leader on the team, leadership is service. Leadership ain't props. Leadership is not look at me. Leadership is how do I serve those that I lead? How do I make them better? That's leadership. You need leaders that take care of those that they lead. You wanna be a leader? Serve somebody. You know, my Sergeant Major's back there. You wanna ask him something? You let me know, but we'll be standing around. And guess what? Enjoy the day. We're off. We're off. We're off. All right, good guys. So obviously, man, this is one of my shorter videos, but I'm not really going to hold you guys too long, man. Um, you know, I got a lot from this video, bro. You know, and this is what, you know, this is what Mr. Sanders does, bro. This is what he does, bro. He's just, he's just an elite guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I have an elite respect for him as a man, bro. And as a father, I don't, I don't know this man personally, y'all. So I'm just not going, I don't gas dudes up. That's just not what I do, bro. I don't, I don't know him from a can of paint, bro. I don't know him behind closed doors and how he really is. But the man that he projects online, the man that he projects to the media, um, it seems like a really great guy, bro. And so for me, man, when I really look at this, uh, you know what this gentleman was saying currently right here, the sergeant, uh, you know, he was pretty much just saying like, you know, hey, bro, like along your journey, along your path, you know, you got to trust individuals. You got to trust your team. You know, you got to trust. The people that are here to help you you know what i'm saying so you can get to that next place so you can get to that next you know journey almost and so for me good guys like that's one of the hardest things in this new journey that i'm on with business and so 
like he was saying, good guys, you got to do stuff and have service for others. Like, good guys, I don't have to make these videos. I'm posting these videos every single day and I don't get a lot of views, bro. But I do it, good guys, not because I'm trying to breach the, you know, subscriber mark or I'm trying to breach this. I'm just doing this, good guys, because I know one day I'm going to become the greatest version of myself and I'm going to leave behind the curriculum and I'm going to leave behind some videos and my words and these words will be able to help young men good guys all around the world and to be able to help them be able to go in a path in a direction that is positive and allows them to understand how to better themselves through such situations that they may not understand how to and so that's why i create these videos and you know i am a a, a man that believes in god and the intents of purposes in the tanakh which is in christianity but in the Jew judaism uh judaism uh so for me, good guys, like I understand that it's important to do charity and I'm not making any money from this, but I'm giving y'all a lot of my time doing this. And I, I'm not doing it because I want recognition. Good guys, I'm doing this because I really want to help you. I don't care if y'all subscribe as long as y'all view this and YouTube allows it to be viewed and promotes it and gets it out there. I am OK with that, bro. Eventually, it's all going to come. Eventually, it's all going to come. So sometimes good guys like just doing things in this way can help so many people. And I have people that view these videos every single day. They wait for me to post these videos. Good guys. I have a group of them and I'm very blessed to have that small group that will turn into a larger group and they maybe need these videos. They depend on me so I can't let them down. You see what I'm saying? Good guys, they may depend on my words. They may depend on my wisdom. They may depend on my experience that I've been through my path of righteousness, my trials and tribulations to lead to this point. And good guys, it's all about serving the creator, bro. Doing the right thing on this earth to serve the creator so that we can help each other. And this gentleman right here understands that, but in a team aspect in the military, you know what I'm saying? So you can do this in any system, good guys. You could do this in business with your, you know, individuals and in business that you may be working alongside in your department. You know, you may be on a marketing department, you may be in the you know, uh, sales department, you may be in the uh, operations department, you may be in the accounting department. These are all teams, good guys. And as a leader, as leaders, as individuals that may be in supervisor, manager positions, whatever hierarchy position you may be in, good guys, you have the ability to do what he is saying and, and work with a team and, and cultivate a culture. But sometimes, good guys, you have people on the team that don't want to be a part of the team and you can't force people to be a part of the team. So that's where I get my angriest good guys and that's something that i gotta work on so just to give you a little bit of experience i have to work on berating people like my dog kobe because i get so frustrated because of the many things that i had to go through to be able to hit in my first business that milestone right there and we're about to be at a million we're one hundred and twenty thousand dollars away and I, I should be able to get it you know uh pro probably like i'm hoping before the end of this month just based off my skill set the skills that pay the bills so but i may be able to get it probably around like mid february at latest but regardless of the fact this is my first business good guys and like i'm dominating i'm just better and when i have to deal with individuals sometimes good guys that just are, are not trying to work bro they just not trying to do it they do like basketball i knew what to do to help them but in business is different because it's like these people are like adults you see what I'm saying? They're not in a system. Like, I don't have a coach that's like in control of them. I'm either in control of them or it's other people that's in control of them. And I have to work in unison. And it's just hard, bro. It's just very, very difficult, good guys. But I can't go too deep because it's business. I can't talk about the intricacies about it. But I'm talking about other businesses, not the business that I'm currently working in. But when I worked in other businesses, I would just get so angry, bro, because it's like so much that I've sacrificed. Like, working right now, guys, we've worked. You know, I think we've worked 80 hours in this week and, you know, we, we got to work where we got to get to 100 hours by the end of the week. And like I work 110 hours, 100 hour weeks. Good guys. So it's like when I'm working this hard, ain't nobody telling me to do this. But when I'm doing this just as hard, bro, and I see other people that's not doing it and then they only got to work for 40 hours and they not giving me they're not even just doing a job at 90 percent or 80 percent. Like they doing less than that and they just taking money, bro. And it's like, it's so frustrating, bro. It's so frustrating because I love what I do. And it's like, I don't want, I, I don't care that they don't love what they do, good guys. It's just the fact that like, bro, like 
how can I pull the best out of you when you don't want the best? So why are you here? And then that's when I just say we should fire you because guess what, good guys? When I wasn't doing my best at jobs and I was lazy, I didn't want to do stuff, they fired my black tail, bro. They got me up out of there. When I didn't fit culturally to what the business wanted to do because I was too aggressive and they wanted more rub your back, caress your shoulders type business, they got me up out of there. Y'all have experienced that, good guys. Y'all been let go from businesses before. Y'all been fired from businesses. Y'all been fired from jobs. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, good guys, it's like, for me, it's like, that's the hard part for me right now. I got to balance my pure aggression and dominance and my ability to do everything on my own and then incorporate my team instead of thinking that I could do everything on my own. So if you're going through the same thing, brother, and you feel that you got to be Rambo at all times, it's a good spirit to have the Rambo spirit, the James Bond spirit, the 007 spirit, the, 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 you know, just the, the Michael Jordan before he met Phil Jackson spirit, the Kobe Bryant spirit that he had all the way throughout his career after Shaq. It's okay to have that spirit, but you have to know how to turn it on and off when you actually get a team, when you actually get a couple guys that a group of guys or women as well that are like, hey, yo, I'm here. I, I know my role. I play my role. Trust me with it. And to be able to relinquish that trust when you do see that they have the capability. And thankfully for me, good guys, I played in sports where I've seen that and had that. So I think once I can get that team that's equally or greater than me, I, I, I have things that they do that's around me that I have to rely on them for, I think that I'll easily be able to do it because I did it when I was a role player, good guys. I became a star player, but at the end of the day, I was a role player, a bona fide role player, good guys. And for me, man, like I had to... I only had a role to play. I wasn't the star guy. I wasn't the guy that was the leader. You know what I'm saying? I was a vocal leader on some of my teams. I was the you know defensive leader on a lot of my teams where they depended on me defensively to lock in on defense. I was the energy when we lost energy on defense. When teams went on scoring stretches, I had to come in there with a different level of intensity and to put a dude on his back, you know what I'm saying, to show that we just not soft. You know what I'm saying? Dive it on the fort for balls, scraping up skin. I got a lot of different, you know, elements on my body because, you know, we was we was really, you know, defense is about will, good guys, if y'all don't know that. Defense is all about will. And if you ever play sports, like offense is just about skills and the skills to pay the bills. And it does have some will in it. But defense is like, I'm not going to allow you to do what you want to do. And it's consistently doing that as much as possible. And then if you're going up against someone that's great, that practices so much on to be able to start to be able to dominate you offensively that is when you have to say okay well i'm not gonna let you do what you want to do all the time you're gonna have to work and fight for everything and then i'm gonna stop you on the ones that you thinking that you're gonna get them big plays them 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 plays that's like oh i'm going i'm gonna dunk on if this wasn't you i'm dunking on this dude this play i'm catching the alley oop over his back this play, he's not even catching the alley. It's getting tipped. It's getting thrown off the backboard. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's certain things like that. Momentum, momentum shifter plays. You stopping them, but neither here nor there. Good guys, just to stay focused. Like this, this gentleman, the Marines, good guys. He really broke down a lot of positive things about you know leadership and working with your team. Take a lot from it, good guys. If you play sports, you know what I'm talking about already. If you haven't, um, you can figure these stuff, th these things out. I started at work. Try to get in a leadership position like a management supervisor position. Start small. And then once you can do that, you'll be able to then build it. If for whatever reason you're really good at what you do, but businesses don't want to put you in those management roles, similar to myself, all you got to do is go create your own business, how I did. And now you have the ability to do it. So there's no excuses. Go out there and try to figure out how you can you know, lead a team. It's going to be difficult at first because you're not going to know how to do majority of this stuff. But watch videos, watch content like myself, other content out there, and you'll be able to get it, brother. But outside of that, man, I hope y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day, and I'm out.